Thanks for joining Pro Surf Blog today as we explore the ingredients that make trestles a perfect wave. And in this surf spot special, we're going to go ahead and combine actual video footage from trestles along with some really neat models that we took some footage of while we were at Birch Aquarium in San Diego. These models show the ocean floor as well as the land features in Southern California. So today what we're going to do is we're going to use those models, take this footage, and we're just going to kind of talk and, and contrast trestles with another local spot uh, that's just up the coast, Huntington Beach. And those ones are good to compare because they're quite different from each other in many ways, and yet both places do produce sizable waves. Huntington Beach is in North Orange County and Trestles is actually at the southern tip of Orange County, nestled in San Onofre State Park that separates Orange County and San Diego County to the south. HB has a sandy shoreline that meets a largely fairly flat shelf that extends pretty far out until the bottom descends down to the next shelf depth. And Huntington shares the same seafloor that actually extends all the way northward to Long Beach and San Pedro area, which also contributes I'm sure to the strong currents and riptides experienced in Huntington Beach. Huntington waves are also a little bit sensitive to the winds as the dry land that stretches from the shoreline inland is fairly flat and so basically wind can come through that whole area uh, without much stopping it and so if it's offshore winds then obviously that could be a benefit but if there's any kind of winds from the side of the south uh, it's just going to go right along the coast there uh, without anything stopping it and also in the area uh, probably due to the lack of rocky bottom beneath the water and probably pollution there's a lack of seaweed so uh, kelp is not there to help with uh, the wind and keeping the ocean surface smooth so if you're somebody who surfs huntington or plans to visit huntington and surf uh, it's a good idea to try to get out there before 10:30 in the morning because after that uh, your chances of it getting blown out or getting a little warble in the wave or uh, a mushy lip is probably going to be after that point. So uh, Dawn Patrol and anything up to the 1030, obviously you got to watch your tides. But uh, that's usually when you might, you know, be ready to drive to a different location. So that's Huntington. Um, as you head down the coast uh, towards Trestles, the floor that extends from the shoreline skinnies up and gives way to the next lower sea shelf much sooner. So as you kind of come down there through Laguna and Dana Point, San Clemente, uh, it doesn't extend as far out, and uh, and you start to come into some areas that have you know bluffs and rolling hills along the coast there. Uh, Trestles south of HB, on the other hand, has a different set of environmental factors that could explain the wave quality in that area. Trestles like HB has a fairly flat shelf that extends from the shoreline, but does not extend as far out before the next descent. Beaches to the north and beaches south of the San Onofre State Park actually make quicker descents once you leave the shore. So this factor uh, is probably a, a major factor in what limits the currents that flow along the trestles area, so quite different from uh, what you'd see up in the Huntington area. So this and the rocky shorelines in the overall region and the thriving kelp beds, uh, I think all those factors there are, are going to help uh, limit the currents. So the other factor we talked about was the wind. So the kelp beds that also reduce some of the current flows also help to keep the surface of the waves smooth. And uh, kelp basically then works with some of these other features in the San Onofre area, which include the local foothills and the coastal bluffs that surround these rocky shorelines. So that really overall helps uh, the condition of the wave. And the icing on the cake would be the rock reefs in the area. Uh, these rock reefs have formed from the bluffs that are deteriorating there naturally and historically some of the river flows that have brought rocks down into this area to create certain points. And so some of these points like lowers and uppers tend to get these super glassy long A-frame shaped waves that can give you the ride of your life. So enjoy some of this footage. So it's coming in again, section between uppers and lowers.
Alright, swing it back to Lowers.